Hello, and welcome to Art with Master Z. In this video, we will be continuing our journey with Piet Mondrian. Piet started his journey by painting in a very naturalistic way. As you can see here, his early works very much resembled what you might see in real life. He slowly began moving more and more towards abstraction, as shown here in some of his works on trees. But this level of abstraction was not quite enough for Piet, so he continued pushing the boundaries. Around 1919, after the chaos of World War I, Piet thought the world deserved a more pure form of art. He gathered all of his old naturalistic paintings and sold them off at a cheap price to one person, leaving behind his old naturalistic approach once and for all. At this time, he ventured into the world of neoplasticism. Neoplasticism is an abstract art style that seeks to reduce things down to their most basic form. This led Mondrian to create his first piece of this type, and it is titled Composition A. Reflecting on this piece, he said the following, I have now made a painting that pleases me more than any of my previous works. It has been a long quest. And this is when Piet Mondrian began creating the artwork that he is most famous for. Take a look at some of Mondrian's other works in this style, as well as some of his famous quotes about art and abstraction. The more basic the color, the more inward, the more pure. The emotion of beauty is always obscured by the appearance of the object. Therefore, the object must be eliminated from the picture. It is possible that, through horizontal and vertical lines constructed with awareness, but not with calculation, led by high intuition and brought to harmony and rhythm, these basic forms can become a work of art as strong as it is true. And that brings us to today's task. I would like you to create an artwork in the style of Piet Mondrian. That is, to create art using only basic, horizontal and vertical lines, shapes, and color. Remember, the more basic, the more pure. As you work, keep in mind that you are trying to create a sense of balance between these basic components. Here is a little Mondrian-inspired art piece I worked on myself just to help get you started. And here we go. I'm gonna be using this grid paper to help me with my vertical and horizontal lines as well as a ruler, which will definitely be handy for this task. If you don't have grid paper or even a ruler, you can do your best to just draw horizontal and vertical lines. Oftentimes the edge of a notebook would work great. So just to get me started, I'm gonna go ahead and start with just a couple vertical lines here. And our lines we wanna do in black. All right, and I'm actually gonna do another one. Give that a second to dry. Do another one right next to that. All right, and then I'm gonna also give myself maybe three horizontal lines down here. And you know, that's not a bad start for me. So. Uh, notice in this bottom left-hand corner, I've got one, two, three lines crossing two vertical lines. Um, there's a lot going on in that bottom corner. So I'm going to try to balance that out by giving myself a nice big shape in this empty space over here. And all I'm really doing here is just feeling out the page, kind of trying to picture different lines in my mind and seeing what might give me some balance or just something that looks interesting to me. So this looks pretty interesting to me actually. Um, I might end up adding some more lines in later uh, but for now, I'm going to say this is going to be kind of my uh, base structure here. So I'm going to stick to the spirit of this art project and model my work after Piet Mondrian. 
uh, and only use these primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Remember that the darker colors, red and blue, those sort of uh, are a little bit heavier. They advance the artwork, while empty space, white, yellow, those are a little lighter. Those sort of retreat uh, the artwork in that area. As I go, again, I'm going to just kind of let my imagination flow free while trying to keep in mind a sense of balance.